Good morning and welcome to News Views. I'm Judy Sue. Dr. Helene Gale is a former pediatrician and the first woman to lead the Chicago Community Trust, the area's largest grant maker. Nearly $317 million donated out this year. Gale has been much, uh, spent much of her career focused on social change and community development nationally and globally, and now she will do that here. So what drew her to this mission and how is Chicago Community Trust working to bring change to the city? Joining me right now is Dr. Helene Gale. Good morning to her and welcome to News Views. Good morning. My nice pleasure. To, nice to have you here. Great to be here. So as we said, the Chicago Community Trust is one of the oldest and largest foundations in the city. 102 years here in Chicago. You are now the first woman to be the CEO. What are your thoughts about the significance of that? Did that make a difference in, in you taking on this challenge? Well, not that, not the fact that I was the first woman necessarily, but um, you know, it's quite interesting that in the 102 year history, there's only been seven presidents. I'm the seventh. So that means that this is an institution that attracts people and keeps people. Um, and I think it's because of the incredible mission that it has and the incredible passion that people have about making a difference here in the Chicago community. So I'm really proud to be uh, the first woman, but also in the line of um, just a very select few people who have had the privilege and honor to hold this, this uh, role, this I position. Know you You've only been in Chicago for a few months, right? Yeah, a couple so you're, months. You're, you're, still, you're still settling in. But do you have a feel already for the impact the trust has made in our region? And for, for our viewers who may not know as much about the trust, what kind of difference it makes in Chicago? Well, you know, it's, it's uh, again, one of the reasons why I'm so proud to be at the helm of this organization, because for 102 years it has made a real impact in Chicago and the Chicagoland community. Um, you know, it's contributed to uh, things like uh, the botanical gardens to Millennial Park, uh, Millennium Park, um, to the first leadership Chicago um, cohort, and you know it's hosted a lot of important things that have contributed to the city, and has been a real change maker. It's been also a way that uh, individuals and families, corporations can give back to the community that they love and feel so passionate about. And so, you know, the trust is, is a place where people can um, live their philanthropic passions and give back to the community that they live in to make it uh, a thriving, vibrant community that is um, provides opportunities to all citizens. As we mentioned in the introduction, just in this year, 2017, the trust granted out more than $300 million to various nonprofits. I want to ask you about the state of philanthropy in, you know, the state of Illinois and the city of Chicago. Where do you see that, you know, as we wrap up 2017 going into 2018? Well, you know, I think philanthropy has always played an important part, not only here in Chicago, but uh, around the world in being able to provide resources that complement what governments do or what the private sector can do. And so philanthropy can play an important role as a catalyst, um, as an innovator, and in creating new solutions that then others can bring resources to, uh, to, to bear and really be able to make a change and tran be transformative in ways that I think are oftentimes unique. So I think philanthropy plays a real important role as a partner um, with other sectors to be able to catalyze change in communities. You have said that you wanted to come to Chicago. I read this because uh, the city is known for being civic minded. What is the reputation of Chicago outside of the city? Well, I think there's multiple reputations. You know, on one hand, people hear a lot about the problems in Chicago. So the issue of uh, youth violence has been on the radar screen. Uh, the issues of failing schools and, um, edu and low educational attainment. So on one hand, people hear a lot about the deficits or the problems, the issues facing Chicago. On the other hand, one of the things that, as you said, attracted me is that this is a community that cares deeply about uh, the city and, and the region. And there is this deep civic pride that you often don't feel in other communities. And so, you know, I think on one hand, Chicago has a lot of the challenges of um, urban cities today, but it also has so many assets and such a commitment to face those challenges head on. The ability to 
see how you make a difference in a city like Chicago, I think has, repl uh, has ripple effects not only and, and can have an impact not only here in Chicago, but I think it can also teach the rest of the nation and even the world about how do you tackle difficult problems head on with a community that believes in its future. We're going to pause right here, take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to chat a little bit more about Dr. Gale's background. She started out as a pediatrician. We'll find out more when we come back.